An internet bill that would mean less privacy on the internet just passed the House today and is on its way to the Senate. So, what does this bill mean for you? Ben's breaking it down into reality check you won't see anywhere else. The bill is called CISPA, or the Cyber Intelligence Sharing and Protection Act. And today, by a vote of 288 to 127, the 2013 version of CISPA passed the House. So what exactly is CISPA? Well, broadly stated, it's a bill designed to protect the U.S. and private companies from cyber attacks. But when you look for specifics, lawmakers are all over the place and very vague at the same time about what the bill would do. Texas Congressman Mike McCall said this week, in the case of Boston, real bombs were used, quote, in this case, they are digital bombs that are on the way, end quote, which is why he says we need CISPA. Representative Dan Maffei of New York said CISPA was necessary to protect the United States against independent groups like WikiLeaks. And CISPA co-author Representative Mike Rogers of Michigan says CISPA is a critical bipartisan first step for enabling America's private sector to defend itself. Again, vague. I talked with Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown about CISPA today and why he supported it last year. Potentially, I know that the Chinese um, could engage in cyber attacks and they've done some untoward kinds of behavior aimed at either American corporations or infrastructure or U.S. government, various U.S. government agencies or levels of U.S. government. And a Senator Brown says he needs to read this year's version before deciding how he will vote. But CISPA, despite the broad and vague definition of why we need it, is highly controversial. That's because it overrules all existing federal and state laws by saying notwithstanding any other provision of law, including a privacy policy or terms of service agreement, companies may share certain confidential customer information with any other entity, including the federal government. What that means is that if you sign up for an email or internet service and you agree to terms of service that promise to protect your privacy, under CISPA, the email company, Yahoo, Google, Microsoft, by law, they do not have to honor that agreement or contract. They can share all your personal information with federal agencies and private companies. That's why Michigan Congressman Justin Amash offered an amendment that would require companies to honor the terms of service agreements. But that amendment was defeated. Amash released this statement on the matter saying, quote, when Americans sign up for service with their phone company or their internet provider, they should be entitled to the privacy protections that the companies promised them. Giving companies legal cover to break their contracts with consumers is bad policy and a disservice to the American people. Well, right now, a number of internet companies like Mozilla oppose CISPA. So does the Electronic Frontier Foundation and the American Civil Liberties Union and some conservative groups like FreedomWorks. But what this means for you is that last year CISPA passed the House but died in the Senate because of a filibuster. Could that happen again this year? Well, maybe so. But the bigger question about CISPA is this. How does any law allow companies to create terms of service contracts with customers and then legally allows them to break them with no recourse? And that is Reality Check. You can find the sources for the story posted on our website, fox19.com. And if you'd like to make your voice heard, head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by searching Ben Swan.